Um, I would, I'd like to discuss now extra example number one. We're given a, a particle that moves along the x-axis. This is the origin. The position along the x-axis is given by the coordinate x. And we're told that x is 3 plus 40 plus t squared. This means, of course, this is in meters. This means that that um, at any given time t, I can calculate x by putting the value 40. To begin with, I would like to find the average velocity over the interval 0 to 2, I'll change it to 2 seconds. So in this time interval from 0 to 2 seconds, what is the average velocity? To find the average velocity, I need to calculate the displacement during this interval. It's a displacement divided by the time. So what is the displacement during the interval from 0 to 2 seconds? At t equals 0, What is x? This is x0. It's equal to 3 plus 4 times 0 plus 0 squared. So that's just 3 meters. At t equal 2 seconds, what is x? I replace t by 2. I get 3 plus 4 times 2 plus 2 squared. So 3 plus 8 plus 4, that is 15. 3 plus 8 is 11 plus 4, 15. So that's 15 meters. So the displacement during the time interval from 0 to 2 seconds is x at 2, x when t is 2 seconds, minus x when t is 0 seconds. This is 15 meters minus 3 meters, and this is 12 meters. So the average velocity, v average, is 12 meters divided by 2 seconds, and this is 6 meters per second. B I would like to find the average acceleration during this interval. The average acceleration is given by acceleration average is a change in velocity over the change in time. So in the interval from 0 to 2 seconds, it's a velocity at t equal 2 seconds minus the velocity at t equals 0 seconds divided by the change in time, which is 2 seconds. So this is the average velocity. The final velocity so I have an interval from 0 to 2 seconds. The final velocity is a velocity at t equal to 2 seconds minus the initial velocity, which is a velocity at t equals 0 seconds, divided by the final time minus initial time, which is 2 seconds. So I need to determine the velocity at t equal to 2 seconds and the velocity at t equals 0 seconds. To find the answer, Note that I'm given x, so the velocity at any time t 
the velocity at any time t is the derivative of x with respect to t, x prime, or dx also over dt. That's the same. And what is the derivative of x? What's the derivative of 3 plus 4t plus t squared? Derivative of 3 is 0, because that's just a constant. Derivative of 4t is 4, so that's just 4. And the derivative of t squared is 2t, so it's 4 plus 2t. This is the velocity at any given time t. So what is the velocity at t equal 2 seconds? I replace t by 2. becomes 4 plus 2 times 2. That's 8 meters per second. What is the velocity at t equals 0 seconds? I put t equals 0, I get 4 meters per second. So I get here 8 minus 4, that's 4, divided by 2, which is 2. So the answer is the acceleration is 2 meter per second squared. This is the average acceleration. Finally, in part C, what is the velocity and acceleration at t equal one second? The velocity at any time t is this. So if I put t equal one second, what do I get? V at t equal one second. I put t equal 1, 4 plus 2 times 1, that's 6 meters per second. How about the acceleration? The acceleration is the derivative of v with respect to the time. So it's v prime or also written as dv over dt. This is v at any time t. So what is its derivative? The derivative of 4 is 0. And the derivative of 2t is just 2. So the derivative is simply 2. So it's 2 meters per second squared. And it's independent of time. So at any time t, the acceleration is just simply 2, which is the same as the average acceleration, because the acceleration is, in this case, it's constant. All right, uh, one last remark. We could have almost guessed the answers by looking at x. We know that for constant acceleration, we know that x is x0 plus v0 t plus half a t squared. Since this has the same form, then I know that this x of t describes a constant acceleration where x0 is 3, v0, the initial velocity is 4, and I get half a t squared. It's just here 1 t squared, so a must be 2. So this is 3 meters, x0. This is 4 meters per second, and a is 2 meters per second squared. So, and this is exactly what we obtained. Thank you for listening.